Hi, my people. Welcome, welcome, welcome to today's newest psychic reading on or with Alia. Um, we welcome Alia's spirit and energy. Uh, I think she has a few things to say about a uh, few topics, one in particular. A few topics, one in particular. Um, so thank you all for being here. We respect Alia. We love Alia. Um, and yes, we honor her presence. So I hope you all are doing well and being abundant and lovely. I am Lamar Townsend. If you're new to my channel, I'm a psychic, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. And if you would like your own personal reading from me, then you can definitely check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. <clears throat> this is where you would go, by the way, to view all the rates, services, products, classes, and different types of things I do offer. And I do offer quite a lot, so let me show you. This is my website. All right, so once you reach this page, you know you're on the right page. You can scroll down and read reviews from people who have purchased readings from me. You can also follow me down here on Instagram and Facebook. And if you would like your own reading, go right to the store section of my website. This is where you would go to view all the rates, services, products, classes, candles, and different types of things that I do offer. And I do offer quite a bit of different things, all right? I offer phone readings. I offer video recorded readings where you make your payment and send your questions via email. After you've sent your questions and made your payment, I will record myself doing your reading on my own time. Typically, um, MN, will, uh, MN will email you the video download link to download and keep uh, within one to four days or less. All right. So thank you all for being here. Um, I also do offer email readings. I offer candles. All right. Protection candles, custom candles, money candles, love candles. Um, I do burn them on my own altar, so you don't have to worry about that. I do offer birth chart readings, both compatibility birth chart readings and individual birth chart readings. I offer past life readings if you want to learn about your past lives. I also offer mediumship readings if you want to connect directly to spirit um, without the cards, which is what we're about to do now with Alia. Um, and I do offer classes, including tarot classes, um, astrology classes, spiritual development classes, and so much more. So if you'd be interested in anything that I have to offer, definitely check out my website. I am damn good at my job, if I do say so myself. Um, and we've had many conversations with Alia, actually. I've had maybe two on my YouTube channel I posted. One I did years ago, actually. She might have been one of the first celebrities I kind of channeled, you know, um, and uh kind of spoke with you know via the other side of my youtube channel back in maybe like 2017 maybe maybe even 2016 you know maybe it was like maybe we've done three so far maybe i've done three so far on my channel because then i did another live one on, around her birthday or on her birthday a couple years ago back in like 2018 maybe 2019 um and then I definitely did one on Patreon as well. So I've done quite a few. I've done about maybe four or five kind of readings on Aaliyah, with Aaliyah. No, then I did one on her mother and I think she showed up. So I've done a, quite a few readings. I actually would, you know, never mind. Let me not mention that. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, Aaliyah, you know, we are here to read on Aaliyah. So we welcome her spirit and energy. And once again, we honor her presence. Let's do a quick singing bowl. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and opening up this space so that I can connect with the energy of Aliyah. Thank you for bringing forth the energy of Aliyah. Thank you for making this a safe space for Aliyah to feel welcome in, to talk, say what she needs to say. Thank you for allowing her to go back to from when she came once this reading is over with love and light. Thank you for protecting my energy, thoughts, minds, and emotions, as well as protecting Aliyah's energy. Those watching this video, amen, amen, amen. tap in and see what's going on the first thing I, I'm seeing is I see her walking through the doorway here kind of coming up to me she's kind of smiling like this and you know waving her you know waving her hand saying hi I feel like she kind of comes with like bodyguards 
Um, like there's like a tall white man with like a, a, a like a, almost like a, a early uh, what's his name Tom Cruise haircut. Um, in his career, and there's a tall black man. I feel like on both sides of her, I would say they're both like up over six feet, maybe like definitely at least six three or or over six three. Um. I feel like whoever these guards are, they definitely know magic. Because they're like putting out their hands and their hands are emanating some sort of energy from them. Or their fingertips actually. Um, so. I hear the word Egyptian. Like it's almost like she's saying Egyptian. So there's something maybe connected to Egypt. I feel like she's acknowledging that she had a past life in Egypt. I'm seeing like prayer hands, almost like I put it in the prayer position. Um, or almost like there's a kindred ship to Aliyah and her energy, her essence, and Egypt. It's well known that she um, talked about Egypt while she was alive, but I think she mentioned she did fin feel a, a kindred ship to Egypt, Egypt or Egyptian culture. She did mention that when she was alive in, in interviews, I believe. But it's almost like, I don't know why I see her, like if she saw something Egypt while she was out and about, she would like, oh, Egypt or Egyptian, like that's Egyptian. Like, like there's something where she was like very widely attracted to Egypt or Egyptian culture. And how they were very advanced technologically, how it was very kind of like a melting pot of different cultures. She says that's who she was at her core. Advanced. A melting pot of different cultures. You could really tell with her musicality, specifically with her last album. She had many different influences, Latin influences, hip hop influences, R&B influences, um, pop influences. She also says that's that she kind of points to her hair like this, like that's where the hair thing came from. She kind of points to me and kind of smiles. She's like, I love her smile. She's like, I, by the way, I like your hair. She kind of goes like this, I like the hair. Thank you, Alia. You know, honey, I like to, you know, you're inspiring, honey. You, your, your hair is very inspiring. I'm still trying to learn from you. If you're trying to slide some secrets my way, girl, you know, um behind the scenes i would really appreciate it because you know your hair stayed laid and stayed on point and is still laid and on point even it, even when i see her now her hair looks like it looks a little bit tousled like it's like she's been like she's been busy or she's been working out or it's like um you know how sometimes you know and this goes for anyone you know it's like you've had a style on your hair for a few, like a few days or a week and a half or so or two weeks and it starts to get kind of tousled. You need to kind of refresh it, but it still looks good. So it's not like, I feel like that's what her hair looks like. Like she still looks good, but her hair looks a little bit tousled. It's almost like it's in ring ringlets or something like that. Like, or like loose, loose wave curls, but you can see it's like, it's tousled is the best word I can describe it. Anyways, um, it looks really good though. It looks very soft. She's kind of grabbing it. She's like, thank you. I feel like she's kind of tired. Um, I feel like her energy can be pulled in many different directions, Alia, but I feel like at the same time, lately it's been a bit more concentrated. Like, whereas I feel like usually it's been a bit more chaotic for her on the other side, lately it's been more like, I feel like less chaotic where and when, when I say concentrated I mean whereas her energy would maybe be very sporadic all over the place because she's you know she's over here she's over there you know someone's trying to pull on her energy here there it's like I feel like with her she's very more calm and I feel like she's definitely and I can even feel it in the energy and with these bodyguards she brought with her um there's something where she's and I've noticed I I definitely remember and 
I kind of look at Aliyah as a spirit guide, actually, in a way. Um, she says, thank you, of course. At the Once again, I, I mentioned at the very beginning of my YouTube career, one of the first readings I did on a celebrity where I just channeled their energy and tapped into spirit. Um, I don't remember if I used cards. I might have used cards. Was that Leah? Um, and I remember, like, um, that was when I first established a connection to Aaliyah. And Aaliyah at that time really helped me develop my spirituality. And, um... I don't know why I just mentioned that. So I say all that to say that... I know... Okay, that's what I was... I noticed then, uh, you know, back then I feel like there's something where she was more, a bit more open, a bit more talkative, a bit more candid. Mind you, this was back in like 2017, 2016, where times were different. We're now in 2023. <clears throat> but I noticed as the years have gone by, she's become, with me, <clears throat> now I can't speak of her experience with other psychics and intuitives and tarot readers and whatever it is, because I've noticed also, I've seen other people do readings on her or talk to her and she kind of acts different with each person <clears throat> so i can only speak to my experience with me i've noticed she's less like talkative and she kind of like she may put an imprint on my mind and she like she lets kind of lets me talk she lets me channel the energy she lets me take the reins and she's kind of just like and i don't mean this in a disrespectful way but she's kind of just there you know kind of like you know agreeing you know, or, you know, kind of giving clarity or insight, you know, on certain things that need to be given clarity or insight on. So I just noticed a few things in the energy, you know, and I am actually happy to see that, to be honest with you, because it's good to see you setting your your boundaries on the other side, your energetic boundaries. Um, Because I feel like there's just certain people she won't talk to at all. They're like, there's certain people she won't interact with on the other side. Or on this side. She, she kind of sits down. It's almost like literally these guards brought in a bench because I don't, I kind of don't have anywhere for her to sit in here. I'm so sorry about that. This was kind of an impromptu um, meeting. Usually I have a chair here, but I've been rearranging lately. But literally her guards like brought her a bench and she sat on a bench. I don't know where the guards brought this bench from, but they just gave her a bench and she, she sat down and the guards were like sitting behind, standing behind her with their hands like kind of like cuffed in front of them like the you know this so um she's like they're very protective of me she's like she kind of puts i feel like she has a purse or a bag or something and she kind of puts it down on the bench and it's like so i have a few things i want to talk about she crosses her legs puts her hands in her um her lap <clears throat> number one she says uh, first thing i hear is there is new there is new music coming what do you mean by that, Aliyah? Because we haven't heard new music from you in technically since 2001. But, of course, a few artists have used your voice and likeness and things like that and remixed. The last thing I can think of was that song with Drake, which I actually really liked, but some people didn't. I liked it a lot. What do you mean new music? She says, or I'm hearing estate. Like her estate, I feel like there's something with her estate. That's being negotiated. She says negotiations. She kind of puts her hair behind her ear like this. She's kind of like negotiations, negotiations. Okay, okay, girl. We like to hear that. Um, she's like, yes, child. Um, she's really fun. Like, I like her energy is really fun and lighthearted. So that's good to see that. Um, so she's like new music, new documentary. She says, she says she kind of goes like this. Around fall, like fall, fall season. She says, I won't say which year yet, but no, fall. And then she's like, know that you heard it from you. She's like, know that you heard it here first. Know that you heard it from Lamar first. But she's like exclusive, exclusive. All right. So something about documentary and fall, fall season. Um, whether it's announced, whether it's released, whatever it is. 
She says something about merch and merchandise. There's something also I hear she says about Tommy Hilfiger because she's showing me like her old Tommy Hilfiger photos where I guess she was like a model for him. So she's like, there could be something new up with that coming out soon. Or like a revamp or something like that. I hear vinyl record or vinyl records. I hear re-release. You mean like re-releasing an album? She goes, yes, okay. Re-releasing like an album or something like that. She says new content. I hear TV show. Like, almost like something, are you saying, because she's showing me, like, almost like a TV show based on her life, but, like, almost like a TV docu-series or TV miniseries. It could be, so I hear, she says streaming networks, or I hear streaming networks. So, like she said, she has some things in the works. Um, I also see something about the brother, like you're showing me the brother. So you, is the brother a part of this? I feel like some of the brother is helping to produce or be a part of some of this stuff, I feel like. I don't know why I also see the brother doing like voiceovers. I don't know if there's going to be something with like a voiceover or likeness of her voice or image. Almost if there could be like a, a TV, like, children's series. But to me, it feels like almost like it would be under the vein of like a proud family kind of like, it kind of like gives me the vibe of like a pr proud family kind of thing. If it were like a animation kind of thing. She goes, now I have a few other things I want to address. And she kind of puts her like, she kind of crosses her legs like, you know, uh, like a church lady, she says, pull the picture up, you know. All right. She wanted me to pull, post this picture. All right. Now, one question I wanted to ask Alia is, you know, there's been a lot of talks, and this has been, you know, not just a recent rumor, but this has been a, a rumor that's been going on, uh, you know, un unfortunately uh, around, around you or about you. For many years now that there's a illegitimate child or, or a mis mystery child or secret child now one person who i'm sure you know about who claims to be your child um uh, uh, actually you and r kelly's child so this girl right here in this picture next to this picture of ali and r kelly when they were younger is Lagina gold um and she claims to be the child of r kelly and alia now, once again, we don't know what's going on, if there's any mental health issues, or what all is her backstory. But once again, this is just an example of someone who who claims to be, you know, um, and publicly, this woman is here publicly claiming, and this also at one point was connected to Jaguar Wright, by the way, is publicly claiming to be, you know, the child of Alia and R. Kelly. So, Alia, I'm just going to let you have the floor and, you know, uh let you say whatever it is you want to say about this. She kind of takes a deep breath. She uncrosses her legs. She kind of like uncrosses her legs and like looks down and kind of, you know, takes like a deep breath. She kind of goes like, just like that. Like I literally hear her, you know, taking that, like I literally hear her, you know, giving that, you know, part. Um, She's like, Almost like she's kind of like trying to figure out where to even start with this. She says, first of all, she says, I do not have any Ill illegitimate children. She says, I don't have any secret pregnant or I don't have any secret children or pregnancies. She says, no secret Abortion, she says, maybe. She kind of goes like this.
She says, but no illegitimate children. No secret pregnancies with me, you know, carrying anything full term, at least, she says. Um... And no, she's, she says no secret children. She kind of brings up Janet Jackson and how there was a similar uh, rumor about Janet, ja Janet Jackson having a secret child. She says, if I had a child, I would have shown at some point, even if I were at, you know, six weeks, two weeks, three weeks, you know, maybe not two weeks, three weeks. But even if, if she's like, even if I were at six weeks, even if I were at two months, she says, I would have shown someone would have known it would have gotten out would have had, it would have been a bigger deal. She says, she says, especially when I was younger, which is where she says where these rumors stemmed from. She says when she was younger, she says during the R. Kelly era, she says her days, she goes like this. That's where these rumors stemmed from. She says that's what I was moving away from. That's what I was trying to move away from. And she kind of shows me like, you know, when she was like, work, you know, doing her last album kind of thing, you know, by that time, you know, she, you know, what happened to her. She says, all those rumors, all those lies, that's what I was moving away from. That's what I was actively, she kind of goes like this too. That's what I, I was actively trying to move away from. She goes just like that. She looks, she's almost like looking right at the camera, but she's not like on this side. She's more over there. She kind of looks at the camera as if the camera is facing her though. And she's like, Legina Gold is not my daughter. She kind of makes a joke. She's funny. She kind of goes, now she's my daughter. You know? And she goes just like this. Catch that. She's my daughter. She goes like, just like that. Like, I don't know if I'm making the accent right. And then she kind of pulls her energy back. She's like, but she's not my daughter. She goes just like that. That's just, just how she says that. I love you, Alia. You are so hilarious. She kind of, she's like laughing. Um, but she's like, she's like, she kind of, you know, you know, brings her energy back and she's like, but no, seriously, she's not my daughter. I don't have any illegitimate children. I don't have any children out there. Um, she's kind of like, I wanted to be a mother. And if I did have a child... She kind of goes, you know, yeah, maybe there would have had to have been some secrecy around it. You know, with the labels and the times, you know, that we were in at the time. And, you know, how the, the trajectory of my career was taking off even well before she kind of, like, passed away, she says. Even well before, you know, we got to the last shoot or the last album or whatever it is. Um, she's like, but she would have shown. There would have been paparazzi photos. There would have been stories. She kind of goes now in abor an abortion. She kind of goes now that's debatable, you know. But she kind of goes, but a child never came through me. And she goes just like that. A child never came through. A, a child never came through me, she says. And she kind of goes, unfortunately. She says it would have been nice. I feel like she would have wanted to have a boy. She's like, and she goes just like this, nothing against girls. She's like, but I would have, you know, I would have liked to have had a boy, you know. She kind of goes, I would have loved to have done his hair. You know, he would have, his hair would have been fly, she goes. Um, you know, him, she goes, him and Uncle Rashad and Nanny this one and Aunt this one and Aunt this one. She's like naming people. Um... And she goes, and that's your auntie, you know, so-and-so kind of thing. Like, she would have really loved to have had a boy, she says. She says, wouldn't have minded a girl, but I really wanted a boy. At least that's my first child, she says. She kind of looks once again. She looks, she's looking, looking at the screen, looking at this picture of Regina. And she's kind of like, 
Um, she's like, if I had a child out there, I would claim it. I would be proud. She's like, I'm a proud mother. I would, I would, I would be a proud mother. I would be proud to have a child who, who, if, if, if that were the case, she says, I would be proud to have a child who were living, who was, who would, who was a representative of me and my essence and my spirit and my DNA, she says, you know, she kind of gives that energy. She says, but I don't. She says, the closest thing you, you have to have to me in terms of my DNA and my essence is my brother. And any children he may bore. And she kind of goes, which we're working on, by the way. Um, she says, my mother. She goes, my family, my aunts, my uncles. You know. They would want, she's like, she's kind of going like, if I had a child, they, they would want to connect with a child. They would want the child in their life. Well, that's one thing I wanted to ask you, Alia. Does your family know about this Legina girl and how, you know, she's going out and, you know, kind of like, you know, at least the blogs and stuff like that and talk about how she's like your, you know, you're her mom. Does, does your family know about this or what? Do they not care? She kind of goes, they don't care, child. They, she says it just like that. They don't care, child. She says they don't know her. Like, you know, like, and she says it just like in my, my Mariah Carey voice. They don't know her. She says they don't know her. Like. She says it would be silly to entertain. It would bring more light, more attention. She says positive attention for her. She kind of points to the screen once again at Legina. Negative attention for my family. She goes like this. She goes, I ain't doing that. You know, I ain't doing that. She's like, I want my family to stay out of it. She kind of goes, now if you see any anyone come through and say anything connected to me. This is quite interesting. She says it might actually be... Her musical connections. Like, I don't know why she, she's showing me, like, Timbaland and, like, Missy or something like that. Or, I don't know why I see the brat. She's almost like saying, they may say something. They may address it. Meaning, Legina, this, this woman here, or, you know, whether or not she had children. So she's kind of like, I don't, don't want to spend too much time on it, you know, kind of thing. She's kind of like putting her hand like this, you know. Um, she says, but I just wanted to make it clear that this is not my child. She's my child, she says, in the sense of a follower of mine. Someone who I've in she says she says this from her perspective, someone who who I've influenced in their growing up in their coming of age stage. She says, and in that way, she kind of points to herself. She kind of goes like this, just as people. She's like, you can take the picture down now. Just take the picture down. She kind of goes like this. Sorry. Um, just as people, and you know, she goes like this, just as people can be ch children of Oshun or a child of Oshun or a child of God, for example, not to put God's name in vain. She kind of goes like this, not to put your name in vain, but people can also be children of me as well. In the sense that my music, I didn't give birth to these people. God, you know, maybe God isn't a good example, she says. Um... Oshun maybe didn't give physical birth to these people, but Oshun, God, Aliyah, you know, me, she kind of goes, has, you know, have influenced people in such a way where 
me, these deities, these, you know, God can be influences in, in people's upbringings and people's, you know, um, evolutions of life. She kind of points to me. She's like, people, you know, there's people who can be children of you in some way, shape or form. She says it's a euphemism. It's, it's a, it's a term of endearment in some way, shape or form, she says. She says, but in the reality, you know, I don't have children. She says, I don't have a daughter. This, this, this child is not my child, she says. She kind of, like, does have a message for Legina, though. She says, like, she kind of, like, is, like, looking at the camera once again. She says, you are loved. You are cared for. She says, you have a family. She says, and they love you and they care for you. She says, please don't bring me down with your burdens. She says, I don't like my name being etched in with lies. And she says, and I can't defend myself. She says, I will speak through other people. And she points to me. And she says, says just like this, baby girl heal. Says, let go. She says, at some point there will be a break and you'll see. I like she's saying this to once again, Legina specifically. kind of goes now back to addressing rumors and such she says she kind of goes now yes there are secrets about myself you know about my life that um are not well known she kind of goes yes at one point I was pregnant or I may have been pregnant She says, but it did not go to full term. She actually goes, you know, there were quite a few times where she had pregnancy scares. She kind of goes, pregnancy scares. She kind of goes, but I was a young woman. I was hustling. I was making things happen. I was focused on my career. Pregnancy wasn't, you know, while I, eventually she says she wanted to be a mom. She was thinking maybe sometime in her, like, maybe 30s or late 20s. Or maybe, maybe mid 20s, she says. Um... Like, she wanted to be a mom, but her career was popping, she says. Her, like, she had too many things going on to give it up, to give it all up. Interestingly enough, she has a song called Got to Give It Up. I love that song. Um... She's kind of showing me that towards the end of her life, she had, there was something about pregnancy that popped up again, but it wasn't with R. Kelly. It was with, I feel like, Damon Dash. She kind of goes, now that one I would have kept. She kind of goes, but there's no way that I, you know, a child 
just out of nowhere came back to life. You know, it's like, to me, once again, that confirms. It's almost like she's saying it without wanting to say it. And maybe there's some trauma with that with her. I don't want to delve into it if she's not comfortable talking about it. But to me, she's saying it without saying it that she had an abortion. She in in her she in her waking life never and if I'm talking out of turn please correct me uh, Aliyah I I get the energy where she never carried a, a child to full term in her waking life while she was alive she did have abortions or an abortion whatever it is she says an abortion she goes um she goes she goes maybe two she kind of goes like maybe two maybe two she kind of goes. Um, she goes, but I don't like to talk about it. Um, she says it makes her feel bad. You know, the fact that a life wasn't brought through, it kind of, it kind of does make her sad. It's a touchy subject. I don't want to, I don't want to make her cry or make her upset or anything like that. Especially to piss off these two guards. I don't want, you know, I don't want no smoke. So I'm not even going to touch that. She kind of goes, yeah, it's sad. She goes, and that's why, you know, it's even more, like, important, she says, for why, why I felt, this is even more of the reason why, basically, she's saying why I felt it was important to say something, to talk, to address it directly. You know, the fact that I don't have any children, there is no illegitimate seek, you know, children out there or living children or descendants she says don't believe the hype with all that she says i might got some juicy secrets you know that may be revealed over time but, but that's not one of them she says trust me you know she says my family would have would have said something something would have come out you know or you know definitely at the very least like if, if there were a, a child really out there, my family would be, you know, if she keeps saying something about her family, like her family would swoop in. If they really believed that, you know, potentially this, this could be her child. She goes like, so if you don't see my family taking it seriously, then y'all don't need to take it seriously. And she kind of goes, and that's that on that. Well, honey, you got us together, Aaliyah. Thank you so much. Is there any last things you want to say? I don't want to take up too much of your time. She goes, new ebook coming out. And then she kind of goes, nah, I'm just playing. It's almost like she's like, she's like making a joke. Um, she's like, I love you. She kind of looks directly at me. And she's like, I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. She says, I love you, New York. And she goes, um, she goes, the state, not the, the person. Although I do love Tiffany Pollard. She says she's hilarious. Um, she says she misses the California heat. She also misses Miami. Um, she visits her brother regularly in his dreams. She's kind of like making fun of him like an old man, like calling him an old man. Like something about the fact that he's old or older now. She keeps showing me something about a hair product. Like it's almost like she, she either there could be a hair product that comes out or she wants a hair product to come out. She kind of goes like that's one of, that was one of her dreams was to have like a hair product, a hair care line. She's like, that's probably something I would have done. She goes, had I, had I, she goes, had, had I lived. Um, she goes, so that's still a dream of mine, you know. She kind of goes, Missy and Tim, t she calls him Tim. Missy and Tim have never forgotten about me. She says I've never forgotten about them. 
She goes, I'm still around Damon and the kids, she says, when it comes to Damon. She's like, I'm still around Damon and the kids. So maybe there's some kids, you know, that she was connected to with Damon Dash. She's like, and that's all, folks. She goes, I love you, Mom. I love you, Dad. She goes, rest in peace. She goes, even though she, he's on the other side with me, you know. I love you, Aunt. I almost hear her saying Aunt Skippy. So I don't know if she had an aunt that recently passed in the physical realm. Um, thank you. All right, Aliyah. Well, I feel great about this reading. I thank you so much for coming through. I, like I said, don't want to take too much of your time. Thank you to the guards as well. Thank you for being here. They kind of nod at me very respectfully. Um, so we wish you well. We wish you love and light. Thank you, Aliyah, for coming here. We wish you to go back where you came from with love and light and protection. Thank you for allowing us to commune with your energy in the name of the Mother, Daughter, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. She's like walking up the door waving to the cats. Bye. I love her. It's always good to check in with her energy, you know, every few years or, you know, or so, you know, just to see how she's doing. I feel like the last time I talked to Aaliyah, she, her spirit maybe was a bit more low in energy. Like, I don't feel like she was as happy or, or bubbly or like funny or fun as she, as she was. Maybe she was actually, maybe because it was on Patreon, but I don't know. It was nice to see her like kind of having fun and be so fun and funny and humorous. So... All right, you guys, thank you for listening and watching. If you would like your own personal reading from me, once again, I am available on my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Do not hesitate to reach out. If you want a reading now, you can contact me now. My books are clear. Um, I spent all day earlier today doing uh, getting through my list. So right now, my list is clear. So if you get your reading now, you'll most likely get it the same day or the day after, or m most importantly, you'll get it sooner rather than later, okay? Remember, phone readings are same-day readings, but I do also offer other types of readings depending on your budget. So thank you all for being here. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I love you all so much, and I hope this video gave you some clarity and insight, and I hope you enjoyed it. And once again, I love Alia. Um, I think I may go listen to some of her music now as I go wrap my hair and get ready for bed. All right, um, and get ready for another day of work tomorrow. Okay, so thank you all for being here. Love and light. I'll catch you in your own personal reading. I'll talk to you in your own personal reading, or I'll see you in the next video. Either way, I'll see you soon. God bless. That was good. Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me. That's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. I don't care what the others say. Let's channel some energy today I don't care what the others say Let's channel some energy today Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong This tarot card reading about to be long Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong This tarot card reading about to be long Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me. That's me.
Thank you.